troubleshooting in Xero. It's something I do a lot of and this video is part of a series of helping you troubleshoot when things go wrong. In today's video, we're going to look at your bills in Xero. You've entered bills in Xero. You know that they have been paid, but when you go to the unpaid section, you find that they're still showing there. So what's gone wrong? How has that happened? And how do we fix it? If that's something that's happened to you, then keep watching. You're on your Xero dashboard. You go to the bills to pay section. There's a couple of ways to get there. You head to the unpaid bills and then what you see really surprises you. You find this bill from Vodafone. It's for your mobile phone bill. You can see that it's in red, which means it's overdue. And you know that that bill has been paid. In fact, you remember seeing it feeding through from your bank. So you're really confused. What has happened and why is this bill still showing as unpaid? Because this transaction is quite recent, it's easy for you to think back to it. So what you remember is you remember the payment. The payment fed through from the bank. You went to your bank account. You chose the option to reconcile. And then when you got to that transaction, which appears on your screen on the left hand side, you knew that at the right hand side, you had to tell Zero what to do with that transaction. Maybe you even had this box ticked that suggested previous entries. And Zero might have suggested to you that what you want to do with this transaction is to say the payment is to Vodafone, it's for telephone and internet, mobile phone bill. That's the easiest thing in the world. And this is what you did, and this is what you incorrectly did, and said, OK. The reason it was incorrect is you shouldn't have entered this as a spend money transaction. You should have matched it to the bill. Now you do also remember entering the bill, but the bill was actually entered after you did this transaction on the bank screen. You also entered the bill in zero and that was pretty straightforward. Same information, it was from Vodafone. You keyed in the dates the description, the value, and you coded it to telephone and internet. But you did that after the spend money transaction was entered. And that's where you went wrong. Okay, let's look at the impact of what you have done in Xero and how to fix it. So you're on your dashboard and I'm going to take you to the profit and loss account. We're going to change the date range and we're only going to look at this month. Then we need to update and clearly there's not much has happened so far in our Xero account in December. We can see telephone and internet and we can see that the value is £50 and that should have alarm bells ringing. Because your telephone bill for the month is not £50, you know that it's £25. So let's head to this £50 value. Let's drill down and see what it's made up of. Look what we see on the screen. We see two lines. The first line is the purchase invoice, the bill for £25. And then the second line is the spend money transaction relating to the same bill and again for £25. So we've incorrectly got a doubled up cost, a cost of £50 for the month instead of £25. And we also would be reclaiming the £5 VAT twice on this amount as well. So that's what we've done wrong. That's the impact of it. We have the cost in twice in zero. And also, if you recall, our bill is still shown as unpaid when it has been paid. So let's look at fixing it. We're going to go back to the dashboard. We're going to head to our bank account. We want to look at the bank account transactions. So the easiest way to do that is just to click on current account to take us into the list of transactions. Once we get to the list of transactions, it's very easy for us to see this transaction. But if we couldn't find it, we could go to the search. A couple of ways we could search. We could search for the actual amount, which we know is £30. Or we could search for Vodafone and find the transaction we're looking for. I'm going to search by amount. Here's my transaction and I'm going to choose it. Once we find the transaction, we're going to head to the top right. We're going to choose options. And then we're going to choose Remove and Redo. 
And we know what's going to happen when we choose remove and redo. Choose and remove and redo is going to remove the transaction and it's going to put the £30 back on our bank transactions ready for us to reconcile correctly this time. Back to the dashboard, back to reconcile. And this time it's green on the right hand side with zero suggestion that the, we match the spent amount to the actual bill, not enter it again as a spent money transaction. So I think often where this does go wrong is because you deal with the bank and then you enter the bill. It makes sense to enter your bills first and then when you get to this stage you're going to match your payment to the bill, not end up with two transactions because you've entered a bill and a spend money transaction. So that's where you might have gone wrong and that's also how to fix it. I hope you find the video useful. Remember, if you're struggling with your zero, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching. And if you check out our website, if you're tired of doing your own bookkeeping, you'll be able to see if we're currently taking on bookkeeping clients. Until next time, happy zeroing.